Hey there, my name is Wellens, and today we're gonna be playing L.A. Noir. I don't think this game really needs much of an introduction. I feel like it's pretty famous, pretty well known. But in a nutshell, it's a detective game set in the 1940s in, oh, oh, you guessed it, Los Angeles. This game actually came out when I first really got interested in PC gaming, so I have followed the news on it, and I know all about how stuff like, um, they changed the interrogation options in the middle of development, but now in the way that they released it, it doesn't really make much sense, which makes it seem like people start going on temper tantrums for some reason. I know about how the developer Team Bondi went bankrupt from this because they spent way too much time and money making this game, ineffectively, to the point that Rockstar said they would never work with this team again. Well, I guess they don't really have to worry about that or even think about it if they went bankrupt. Oh yeah, and I know that this game has some, like, top of the line, back when it first came out, facial technology for telling people's emotions and stuff. I think that's gonna be a crucial portion in us figuring out the clues and trying to crack the case and whatnot. I don't actually think I'm that good at reading people's body languages though, like, if it's their entire body, then maybe? But if it's just their face, then I'm not so sure how well I'll do in those situations, but uh, I guess there is only one way to find out. A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile. The car. The symbol of freedom and vitality. And richness. Where every man can own his own home. And have room to breathe and not be overlooked by his neighbors. A city where a man's home is his castle quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. I forgot to mention this, but we're playing the original one, not the remastered version. The city of opportunists. Because I'm playing on the PC. The city of dreams, where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. The city of pioneers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A city of undercurrents, where not everything is as it seems. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries that will stretch as far as the eye can see. In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the path, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watching you trust me. I made a mind for a long time. Cole. KGBL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, go to. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Oh, I gotta drive. Okay. Ambulance Here shooting? We go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. Ooh, I can use a siren. Oh. Hey, so this is kind of like open world. I didn't know that. That's cool. Kind of like GTA. And we're going towards the area here. 10 p.m. Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. 
Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. Hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got places here. to be. Happy hunting. This is a fist hump. Just going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. Okay. A black guy got shot by a white guy and people are kind of like, eh, whatever. 1940s? I'm not sure exactly, but I'm guessing people were Look still pretty job. racist back then. Right off the bat though, the lingo they're using. Peace. Okay, I know peace is a gun, but uh, what is gat? What is a gat? It's not my job to pick through other people's trash. I gotta look that up later. Holy crap. Music will fade down to indicate that all clues at a location have been discovered. Musical chimes, controller vibration, or a magnifying glass icon will be used to indicate objects got, that can be examined. Anything? Clue indicators will assist in your investigation while switching them off will blah blah blah. Okay. Musical chimes? He was looking at the stuff over here. I tell you, I'm jinxed. I always get landed with this crap. Jesus. Cole, come Something's take a look at this. A random bottle on the ground. We're never gonna find it. It's a waste of time. There's a blood stain on the the wall there. More bottles? Nope. Ooh. This isn't what we're looking for. If it was, though, you're putting your fingers all over it. It seems like I'm just a, a beat cop, and that guy that left earlier, that was the, the main dude, the detective. Shrink says the mind is the final frontier. Ooh, the story behind the headline. Dr. Harlan Fontaine speaking at USC, University of South... California? Dr. Fontaine, could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr... Sheldon. Courtney Sheldon. Courtney? I'm only in second year, doctor. They fast-tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes, given the right set of circumstances. Trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. We try to find ways to unlock the mind again through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. Hypnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hands, Sheldon. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. A good friend of mine, he's so far away. It's like he's wandering You went through a lot me. together. Yes, doctor. Give me his details and I'll make a prognosis. I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Shelton, and your penance, for your friend's help, is to come and work at one of them in your spare time, with what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I, I can't thank you enough. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure, for whom he can only smooth the path to death. That doesn't sound ominous. So this Courtney Sheldon guy trying to get help for his friend from the war by part-timing at this guy's place. Okay. That's not exactly the story on the newspaper here, is it? Because the newspaper story seems to be talking about how this guy visited the university. And what we saw in the cutscene just now was a very 
Very personal little story. Is it related to our case? I don't know. Optimistic call. A lot of drinks around here. Yeah, a lot of bottles around the scene here. There'd be something in the garbage can. Isn't that how it usually is? Hide stuff in the garbage can? No? Ooh. I'm completely ignoring the other guy. <laughs> it's okay, we have time. We can look around. I think. Can we go in here? Nope. No, I guess... I guess not. Wow, that's a lot of blood over there. Guess we should go check it out. What about the car? Insta heat. Huh. It's like 10 p.m. right now. But you can still hear sirens. It's a busy city. What was that? I heard a chime. Doesn't look like anything. A brush? Okay. There's not too much going on over here. What you got? What do you think? Have a good look around. It could be anywhere. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Found clues will be added to your... Okay, notebook. Wilshire Police Station, Division 7. Upon reflection, my partner is Ralph Dunn, and I'm Cole. Okay. We got the victim, Scooter Payton, the murder suspect, Detective Floyd Rose. That's the guy that just left. The detective. Negro male murder victim, shot twice, point blank. Hmm. This might be better for us to look at once we look around some more, because right now it's pretty... it's pretty bare bones. Blood splatter stains in recessed doorway on alleyway floor. I wonder back in the 1940s, do they have like blood stain pattern recognition technology already? Not sure. Alleyway scene of ambulance shooting. Ambulance shooting like an ambulance got shot or does that mean something else I don't know? Hmm. Okay. Well, we gotta look around here. We're trying to look for the gun that did it. Do we... I guess we don't really know if it's around here though, because what's the guarantee? There is no guarantee. Ooh. Police. We're not gonna leave just like this though, right? But it seems like it's pretty open world, like we can go pretty much wherever we want. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I think we're a little bit too far away now, because... You don't hear the music anymore. <laughs> and it gets darker when you get inside this area. Okay. It's gotta be here somewhere. Oh! Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right. Don't hurt yourself. Find a ladder or a drain pipe to climb up to climb up onto the roof. Wow, that was so Did you see the shadow or what? Cuz I I didn't notice that at all. Damn. The gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. Yes. Incidental. Okay, not related? Okay. A pipe over here? Let me just have a- Whoa! 
What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? I didn't mean to do that, but okay. It kind of just warped me over here when I got near. I was gonna go check out the pile over there first. Can I still do that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> let me let me just make sure. Come on, we gotta be thorough How here. How you doing, Cole? Found it yet? Oh, there's a cigarette this time. That could be something. Probably nothing. But how do you know? How do you know, though? Just because there's a lot of it here? I don't even want to think about what I that smell it. is. Hey, dude. Are you actually going to do something? Or are you just going to talk at me? Probably dope needles around here as well. It's not a nice area of town. Over here. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wow. Are you just gonna go touching that? Smith and Wesson, serial S71893. Further examination. Two rounds fired, and instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. Okay. We should follow up on this now, before the burp tries to leave town. Investigation music stops when we find all the clues, and it hasn't stopped, so obviously we're still missing something. Somewhere. Well, I don't see anything on the roof. Maybe there was something back on the bottom level here that we didn't find. Hey, that's really helpful though, because otherwise... We have the gun, Cole. Ooh. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. But, wait. Next objective, investigate the gun store at 10 p.m.? It's not even open yet, is it? Yeah. Wait, though, the music is still not... It's still around here, isn't it? We gotta look around a little bit more first. Because that's gonna bug me. Oh! Whoa, I'm sorry. Guess there's nothing up here. Yeah, that's just the bottle. Come on, there's gotta be... Something around sure here. About this? It's not really our gig. No harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Who doesn't want the promotion? You would be the weird one if you didn't. Oh, that is not a clue. Come on, that's just not some... Help. Wake yeah. up, Cole. Not all objects are relevant to your investigation. Hmm... There's gotta be something around here, right? Because we're... Oh. Maybe that's just it? Because I really don't see much else. Wake up, Cole! I am awake! Yeah, I guess... I guess that's that. We found the murder weapon already, so... Yeah. That's a bottle. Doesn't give Wake me anything up, to go on. No. Okay, fine. I guess we'll just go to the Yeah, we'll go to the gun shop now then. Hmm. Do we have to drive there? Okay. I wonder if we could have driven the other car over there then. Ooh, hey. This is a crime scene. All of you move along. <laughs> they don't want to go home even though it's like 10 p.m. at night. Earlier it said that I got to set my objective here. So I got to go to the location. Gun store. Yes, we have an address. Okay. 
No, oh, I'm driving. That's right. Okay, I don't really know where we're going, but hopefully I can make it there in one piece. Oh! <laughs> Without killing pedestrians. Well, it's late at night. I guess we can speed a little bit. Right? Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> no, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Yes, my destination is marked with a yellow icon. Straight through the intersection. Okay. I trust you. Take this left. Okay. Oh! Not even on the right side of the road here. Holy god. Oh, can we just... <laughs> Should we be looking around at other places? Because it's like open world here, and I wonder what else is going on in the other streets and stuff. Whoa, shoot! <laughs> no, we're okay, we're okay. We haven't banged into anything yet. We're fine. Are we getting close? Oh man, if we have to drive to all these locations, that might be a bit of a problem. <laughs> just slam through. We're close, we're close, kind of. Yeah, yeah. We're right here. Central guns. Do you have a parking lot? Never mind. <laughs> Guns, ammo, guns, sporting goods. <laughs> we sell ammo, learn to shoot. Gold handle doors allow you to enter. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson, model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357, nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No. I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. Oh. You know, this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? Oh, he basically volunteered it to me. Okay, if it's a special gun, we can narrow down who bought it. Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? Pearl Grips, 27. Actually, I don't. 27. Oh! We're in luck. Errol Schroeder. 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Wow, we're blazing here. Was that the only guy, though? I'm just wondering. Was it the only guy? There might have been another guy. Because I saw another 27 here earlier. Oh, but walnut grip. Okay, well, I guess he is the only one. Sure. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. Do you mind if I... Ooh. It's not a clue, is it? Seems irrelevant. So there's a whole bunch of random things that I can just pick up. Can I come down here? Where am I going? <laughs> I'm just investigating this guy's gun shop. Oh, a shooting range. Oop. Sorry, sorry. Interesting, interesting. Well, I guess there's not really much else here. Wow, so this guy has a gun shop with a shooting range below. That sounds like he should be pretty rich in these times. Ooh, selling guns? That's uh, sort of an expensive thing, isn't it? He's well off. You got rifles here. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. I'm not catching any of these references at all. Okay, do we have to get the location again? Schroeder's apartment. 
Wait, I want to check out the other parts of my notebook here. Intuition. Intuition points are gained as you earn experience and rank. Use intuition points to aid your investigation. Forget about social club. <laughs> oh, is someone honking me? Yeah, ambulance shooting at 6th and industrial, da da da. We gotta go investigate the guy's apartment. Alright, let's go! Oh. Even though I don't know how much of this is actually part of my duty right now, I think only investigating the crime scene was, and this part is just me being really eager, trying to, um... Is that copyright music, by the way? Hold on. How do I turn that off? How do I turn that off? Oh, there's nothing about turning off the music. Shoot. Okay, well, uh, I guess we'll just have to drive there really, really quickly. Okay, this better not give issues. Let's hurry up and go. Let's get going. Hopefully they use some royalty-free tracks here, because otherwise I'm gonna have to... Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Just yeah. because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name? If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of it. <laughs> All right. Am I still going the right way? Stay on this road. Okay. Yeah, like the whole thing just seems a little bit too convenient right now. Maybe it's more of a tutorial thing, but why is everything... Is that guy intending to be found on purpose? Maybe, maybe. Well, it's only our first case here, so yeah. Actually, I'm not too sure how many cases there are in total. Hmm. Oh, this one's far. Is there a way for us to see the big map? The bigger map? Just so I can see how big this... Oh my god. Schroeder's apartment. Wow, the gun store was here. Whoa! Whoa, this place is huge. Hollywood. Division 6. Oh, and that's the crime scene. Oh, wow, okay. We crossed a bridge here, a river. LA River. Oh, we're pretty close though. So let's get going. Um, we wrap around on this one. I think we might have passed it a little bit. Oh, if we like come in here. Maybe? Somewhere here? Can we park? How close are we? That doesn't have a golden handle. And that's a store. Oh. Oh. Oh, I way overthought it. <laughs> Okay, right across the street, with my car right here. It's a pretty small apartment. Schroeder, apartment two. Is he new here? His name tag seems a little different. Nope. Yeah, it's pretty... Pretty shabby looking place. Can we go visit the other apartments anyway? No. Two. Four. Thing in the back. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. 
What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Whoa. Oh, we're gonna... Tough guy? We're gonna fight. That was a very... <laughs> I can block him, but do I need to? This guy, it doesn't seem like he did it, but he also doesn't know what's going on. So I don't know why he's resisting arrest like this. Dude, my partner's out cold completely. Holy crap. Are you down? Oh! Hey Cole, let's get moving. Ralph, you all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. <laughs> Keep okay. an eye on him, Ralph. I'm gonna take a look around. Yeah, I don't think it's him. Investigation music plays. Yes. Artie Rosenberg, 9446, a date, 50. Hmm? Is he selling something? Do I recognize? Whoa! List of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, badge 1247, requesting. Hmm, there's probably a lot of police corruption during this time. It's like we're too scared to investigate too much into this because it seems to link back to something about that. Corruption. Is that me? Just came here for the first time? Or am I going somewhere? You dumb fucking sons of bitches! Get in this line now before I lose my temper! Excuse me, Sergeant, but- Excuse me! Fuck you! You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig! Some of us are here for- I know why you're here, asswipe! I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. Whoa. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. Was I in the military? OCS? Oh. Wait, is that a new case? The right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no sitting on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan. 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identified code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised. 211. Armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. Oh, subdue robbery suspects. Wait, was that case just done then? Like we found out too much and we decided to just back off and that was the end of it. Oh, because it seems like it was implying that the detective was the guy who killed the black man. A tall white man, he fits the bill. And we found his name in a book, so that's pretty... that's pretty damning. Oh. 
Whoa, lady! Lady! Come on! Police on the job here! Get out! Suspects armed and dangerous. Make it quick, you guys. The cops are here. We gotta move it. What the hell is a 211? Bank robbery? Oh! Is that guy dead? The other guy? Try for the front door. Keep your goddamn head down. Use the cover, Phelps. Okay, okay. We don't know how many are in there. Take it slow. Backup will be here soon. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you Not a, a chance. To chance, copper. You got any closer? We'll cut you in half. Bank robbery. Is that like every every newbie's dream case or what? Stay in cover. Kinda no, sucks no. though. We just have to give the other one up. The other case. I thought we would actually reach a conclusion. But that might be part of the whole noir feeling too. That's it? We got them all? I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. I did all the work. Where's my commendation?